Northern Rock, which is now wholly owned by the taxpayer, has been spelling out how it will re-enter the mortgage business. Managers say they intend to boost lending by £14 billion over this year and the next. Richard Scott has been looking at what's on offer to home buyers. Thanks, George. Well, the Northern Rock move is aimed at helping the mortgage market, which is in something of a slump. In January last year, lenders handed out mortgages worth £26 billion. But this year, they handed out less than half that amount, just £12 billion. Pounds. Well, we've been speaking to one first-time buyer who's struggling to get a mortgage. Martin Breeze and his wife are keen to buy their first home. They've got a 10% deposit and want to borrow less than three times their joint income. But the interest rate on offer is more than 6.5%, which makes the deal too expensive. It's very frustrating for us at the moment because, obviously, we've got a considerable deposit and yet we still can't buy anywhere. It feels like um, our life is on hold, basically, until the banks or the government do something about this. You can see why people like Martin are struggling when you look at the deals that are on offer. 18 months ago, before the credit crunch took hold, there were 470 normal 100% mortgages available. Now, there are none. For 90% mortgages, the drop has been even more dramatic. 18 months ago, they were not far off 2,000 of them. Now, there are barely 70. And not only are there fewer 90% deals, but they're more expensive too. The average rate has gone from 5.7% to 6.3%. And that's despite interest rates coming down by nearly 5%. It really comes down to the, uh, the additional risk that the, uh, that the mortgage lenders see out there. Um, we're still not at the bottom of the um, housing uh, price crash. Nobody quite knows where that's going to be. And you've also got the uh, situation of unemployment, which is still looming large. The government could help the mortgage market by forcing banks that it has stakes in to lend more. But that might delay us as taxpayers getting our money back from these banks. The government's got a, a difficult decision to make um, over the financial system. With, with Northern Rock, it might be tempted to try and minimise the direct cost to the taxpayer by letting it run down its mortgage book. But clearly, trying to get mortgage lending going again and the housing market into a recovery mode would be a huge benefit to the economy as a whole. And it might indeed be cheaper for the government to get Northern Rock to start lending again. But even though Northern Rock is increasing its lending, it won't mean lots of cheap mortgages are suddenly freely available. The move is more about making sure the money is there if people want it than making it easier to get at. George. All right, Richard, thank you. An inquiry into how thousands of